guys so today i'm going to be doing a video for you that i know you're absolutely gonna love me for like if you didn't love me already you didn't subscribe already you didn't click like on this video already well you're gonna do all those things you're even gonna follow me on instagram <laughs> have you ever had a pair of patent leather shoes and you got that like scuff mark and uh, it just doesn't go anywhere no matter what you do this little scuff mark here these used to be the death of me, can I tell you? To the point where I stopped buying leather shoes, like faux leather, leather leather, any leather. I was just not having it, right? Until, of course, I discovered how to remove them and I'm going to share that with you. To get started, I'll be using cotton swabs. I really love these ones in particular as they're precision tips, which really comes in handy, for instance, when I'm doing my makeup and I make an arrow. I just dab one of these bad boys in some makeup remover, and this has my liner going from 0 to 100 real quick. We're also going to need an acetone based nail polish remover, or you may use pure acetone if that's all you have available. I just find that nail polish remover is a whole lot gentler on my shoes. And here you see that I'm using some wet wipes to remove all the dirt that may be stuck to the shoe. We really want to ensure that we're using the acetone only on areas where scuff marks are actually present. Now for the fun part, I've gone ahead to dip my swab in the acetone and I'm just going to go ahead and lightly pass the swab over the scuff mark that I'm removing. When I do this, I try to use very light strokes. Almost as though I'm unpeeling the mark layer by layer. Just keep in mind that acetone is a solvent. And so while you want to be scuff mark free, you don't want to damage your shoes in the process. So be careful. For shoes that are extremely shiny, you can follow up with a light coat of clear nail polish to restore the sheen. I don't always find this step necessary, so I rarely use it. However, you can make the judgment call depending on your desired end result. Oh my god guys, I had so much fun doing this that I had to get another shoe. So let's just all watch this guilty pleasure without my banter, shall we? Well that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I have been missing in action for a very very long time and I really apologize for that but I've been going through so much like it's been 2016 especially was such a, a awful year it was just so awful and by awful I mean that I spent I had a lot of first the first time that I landed myself in the hospital I had a stay over guys I don't know if I want to share too much of that on here but maybe I will eventually but don't worry about it, I'm fine now and that's really all that matters and yeah it's just been like I bought a, a house, a townhouse and the renovations took like over a year because the contractor ran off with her money it's just been it's just been a tough year and it's left me feeling very very uninspired so I know that I see some of you guys in person and you'll say you know you haven't been a video in a while what's going on and I've kind of been like, uh, I haven't really had much of an inspiration. But you guys know that I love to come across being positive and being upbeat. And it was really hard for me to be upbeat through all that. Even though I was I was fine through the most of it. You know, I took it like a champ, like I do most things in my life. But I just didn't feel very inspired to come on here and make a video. If you want to see like videos like that, like my renovation nightmare, <laughs> um, then I'd be, I'd be happy to talk about it and to give you a little tips and tricks and some things that I learned that in retrospect I wish I knew before. But yeah, that's it. That's all for the rambling. If you were wondering why I was missing it, I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time. Hey guys, I know you haven't seen me in a while but I'm back and today I'm going to share with you how I make my green breakfast smoothie. So today I'm going to show you how to get your hair like this. I achieved this look by doing a three strand twist out. 